when we need to selectively oxidize our alcohol and stop at the formation of an aldehyde without overoxidizing to carboxylic acid, the first reagent that comes to mind is PCC. Hey everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and in this video we'll talk about the oxidation of alcohols with pyridinium chlorochromate, also known as PCC. So grab your cup of coffee and notebook to work through the examples with me, hit that like button for good luck on the test, and let's get started. PCC stands for pyridinium chlorochromate, as I've mentioned. You may also come across the PDC, which is a pyridinium dichromate, and the Collins reagent, which is a chromium oxide in pyridine. And while there are some subtle differences in the reactivity of those oxidizing agents, we'll treat them as interchangeable for our purposes. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'll be using PCC. The important property of PCC and similar oxidizing reagents is that it dissolves in organic solvents. And the most common solvent we are going to see is DCM or dichloromethane. And since we can easily produce anhydrous, a key without water, organic solvents, we can perform this oxidation reaction in the absence of water, eliminating the threat of the overoxidation of primary alcohols to the corresponding carboxylic acids. Oxidation with PCC is historically important and it revolutionized the field of organic chemistry when it was first described by Corey in 1975. Nowadays, however, PCC has fallen out of favor due to the chromium toxicity and the environmental and health-related concerns associated with the use of DCM. Nonetheless, this is a classic and important oxidation reaction of alcohols, so you will be responsible for it on the test. So let's look at the mechanism. Alright, so the oxidation of alcohols with PCC starts with the nucleophilic attack by the oxygen of the alcohol onto the chromium chlorochromate. The protonated intermediate that we get after that attack will lose the proton to the pyridine, which is going to be our base in this reaction. Next, pyridine will pull off one of the alpha hydrogens to create the CO double bond. The last step is the redox step in this reaction, since the oxidation state of carbon changes from negative 1 to positive 1, and the oxidation state of the chromium at the same time goes from positive 6 to positive 4. So in other words, the carbon is oxidized and chromium is reduced. And since we never care about what happens to our inorganic co-products, in this case it's this guy, we classify this reaction as an oxidation since the carbon formula lost the electrons. And as a quick reminder, we know that the loss of electrons is the oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. Now, the important part here to remember is that due to the absence of water, the aldehyde intermediate in this reaction cannot be converted into the corresponding hydrate. And if we do not have the OH, we cannot proceed with the second round of the oxidation like the way we did in the case of the Jones oxidation. Thus, our molecule stays as an aldehyde. So essentially, what we are doing here is the same mechanism as for the Jones oxidation. However, due to the anhedrous environment, will never go into the second round of the oxidation because our carbonyl here cannot make a hydrate. Now, let's look at a few examples. In the first example, I have the simple primary alcohol, butane one all, and since the oxidation will stop at the formation of an aldehyde, I will end up forming the corresponding aldehyde here, butanol. In the second example, I have a secondary alcohol, and an aldehyde. And unlike the Jones oxidation, the reaction with PCC will not do anything to our aldehyde, so it is safe. The secondary alcohol, however, will turn into the corresponding ketone. In the next example, I have ethylene glycol. And this is an alcohol with two primary alcohols in it. The reaction with PCC will convert both of those alcohol groups into corresponding aldehydes, giving us a dialdehyde, which is called glyoxal. And finally, in my last example here, I have a tertiary alcohol and a primary alcohol in the same molecule. Since the tertiary alcohol cannot be oxidized any further, we'll leave it as is. The primary alcohol functional group, however, will give us the corresponding aldehyde. So as you can see, PCC is an excellent oxidizing agent. Its main drawback is the chromium toxicity and some workup issues you will run into when performing this reaction in the lab, 
but we are not talking about the actually handling the reagents here, so that's not an issue for us. Overall, it's an excellent choice of a reagent for you when you are planning your synthesis or brainstorming ideas for different reactions on your test. So don't hesitate to use it when you need to do an exudation. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, please give this video a like, share and subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates. Leave your questions and feedback in the comments below, watch this video next and I will see you tomorrow.